What's going on, everybody? This is Justin Henry here with the FanDuel Hurry Up, talking latest NFL trade. Commander Carson is headed to Washington. I know we're going to be hearing all about Commander Carson here for the foreseeable future, but the Washington Commanders have acquired Carson Wentz in a deal with the Indianapolis Colts, and it has some fantasy implications too, so I want to talk about that. For Carson Wentz, there's a lot here. Uh, he's had a time in Philly where he put up some MVP numbers. He was hurt. He went to the Indianapolis Colts. They thought he would be able to be able to, to be the starter uh, for the foreseeable future, and he wasn't. He just wasn't a good fit there. So now he's headed to Washington. Brand new brand. The Commanders are coming in uh, and taking you know kind of a new identity. And Commander Carson is now here uh, to lead this offense. And I think for Carson Wentz, this is a good fit. Give him a capable back and Antonio Gibson some receiving threats. Um, when you're talking about Terry McLaurin and you're talking about Logan Thomas, I'm sure they're going to add another receiver too. You have Curtis Samuel playing that uh, that flexible, you know, wide receiver running back type position. So the weapons are there for Carson Wentz as they were in, in Indianapolis, but this feels like it has a different type of feel. They're going to rely more on Carson Wentz instead of the offense being primarily where it was for the Colts. It was just on Jonathan Taylor. So. I think Carson Wentz was dealing with the injury last year. Obviously, didn't have the season that he wanted to have and missed the playoffs. But I think that fantasy-wise, this is an opportunity for Carson Wentz to show that he's still a viable QB2 uh, in, this, in this type of offense. And I think he will prove that uh, heading into this next season. For the Commanders, you're going to be looking at a couple different values here. I'll, we're going to look at Terry McLaurin uh, first. And Terry McLaurin, he, he had that wide receiver one upside, I think, with Carson Wentz. You're going to see that dialed back just a little bit. He's not necessarily the gunslinger that Ryan Fitzpatrick or Taylor Heineke is, and he's going to be a little bit more conservative with his passing attack. So Terry McLaurin, I think you'll be able to see him still have a wide receiver two-ish type of range, but not that wide receiver one upside that we were hoping for. He's such a great receiver, so you hope he does continue to build on that. And for Antonio Gibson, this seems like the perfect type of fit. Carson Wentz does like to rely on the running game, uh, and this offense is going to be using him heavily. Also, as a pass-catching threat, Carson Wentz does like to check down to his receivers that time, so it seems like a very good play for Antonio Gibson. We also look at Logan Thomas. You'll see him still in that, that low-end, tight-end one conversation. I don't really see that changing a whole lot. But I do expect Curtis Samuel to be a little bit more involved in this attack as well. But I think all arrows are pointing up for commanders, offensive weapons outside of Terry McLaurin, who I feel like will have a safer floor, but maybe not the upside you hope for. And for the Indianapolis Colts, uh, this is obviously a rebuilding type of move when it comes to this uh, passing attack. It depends on what they do. Are they going to go draft a quarterback? Are they going to trade for a Jimmy Garoppolo type and try to make the playoffs. I think the latter is going to happen. I do think that they go make a move for Jimmy Garoppolo or some type of veteran QB that can come in and have a better impact on the passing game and make this attack a little bit more balanced. Where that will hurt is Jonathan Taylor. I don't expect him to put up the same MVP type numbers that he did last year. Not saying he won't still be a top five running back, top three option. Uh, but I do think there will be a little bit of a drop off as this game will be a little bit more of a game management or pass balance type of attack. And then you can see with Michael Pittman, I do expect his numbers to, all, to go up as well. Uh, be a little bit more consistent in the offense, depending on the quarterback they bring in. If it is a Jimmy Garoppolo, I do think that Michael Pittman's value will be a little bit more solidified than it was this year. It all depends on this scenario, but I do think the Colts attack is going to be a little bit more balanced than we had seen with Carson Wentz. And that's their hope in trying to make the playoffs. The offensive line is good. The defense is good. The run game is good. All they need is somebody who can manage the field. Jimmy G would be a perfect fit for the Colts.